So check out some of this great local produce. This is some local grass-fed beef. Um, you can see the marbling in it, the quality. It's some of the best in the world, absolutely. I've got absolutely no doubt about that. Some of my colleagues in London buy beef from over here because they know it's so good. So I like to season it quite well with salt and pepper. I mean, it's gonna look quite heavy, the seasoning that I'm putting on. Um, but that's how we cook it here. So plenty of salt and pepper, freshly some ground black pepper or cracked black pepper, and then this way. So a little bit of vegetable oil, and then I had a good chunk of Northern Irish butter. In goes the steak when the butter is brown. Noisette brown, nut brown, classically, this is how I would fry pieces of beef, pieces of uh, venison I'd fry like this too. For beef, it's okay to keep it up really high, really quite an aggressive flame. You can see, you know, how hot that pan is. I want it to sear, and the thing is, just leave it alone for a while. What you want is for it to caramelize, to get that beautiful sort of seared, uh, roast, pan fry type flavor before you flip it over. So it's okay to take a look at it. So we're just gonna take a re-look. Personally, I want a little bit more. Just, and then just leave it. It's, imp it's important to regulate the heat so that it cooks sort of at a high temperature but kind of evenly. So the trick when you're doing this at home is to take a really good heavy bottom pan that's gonna retain the heat that you put in it and let it take on plenty of heat. Don't use a non-stick pan, I mean you can, but it's, it's not great for something like sauteing meat like this, so I recommend a good cast iron pan, a gnarly heavy aluminium pan, something like that that can hold heat and give you that really nice sear. So for rare, medium rare, you're probably only talking two to three minutes each side, and then it's important to let it rest for a couple of minutes, like two, three minutes, just let it rest, let, let the heat penetrate into the middle of the meat. So with produce as beautiful as this, you really wanna keep it as simple as possible, the cooking. A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper if you want, not too much. A little bit of oil. Then we're just gonna put it on the char grill, cook it until it's only just cooked this way. Straight on, no messing about, nice hot grill. So if you're doing this at home, you can, you know, you just fire up the barbecue in the backyard or just, just light your grill and just pop them under the grill. They'll cook grand like that as long as it's hot enough. You know, something, produce, as fresh as this, you really have to show it a lot of respect, you know? Stay with it. Above all, make sure you don't overcook it, you know? Something like this, the Japanese, they just eat the whole thing raw, and it's delicious like that. Believe me, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's delicious. Now, I'm starting to smell that lovely sort of roast shellfish sort of flavors from the edges of the, of, of the body starting to take on that roasty, toasty, um, almost burnt shellfish flavor. Beautiful aromas you get from something like this. So local prawns, a little bit of beef would be beautiful with some garlic butter, and that's what I've got here. But the cayenne twist, to that we're gonna add some Japanese chili pepper, a little bit of soy sauce, and a little bit of lemon juice. So you got that sort of spicy soya, lemon, garlic, butter kind of thing, you know? Which, you know, it's not necessary, but I really love it. And I think it suits shellfish especially. I always think like soya, garlic, always goes really well with beef. So now we start to build. So a little rice cake. A little bit of Chinese greens, just sauteed off with a little bit of ginger. A 
come back down to the plate. A beautiful piece of beef. And it's okay if it starts to just drift off the plate a little bit. The lovely soya garlic butter on top of that, which will just start to melt as soon as it hits the beautiful warm beef. A few fresh herbs, a bit more chili powder. That is terrific local food, the Cayenne way.